Hello beautiful. Today I want to play with the Ruby May Down to Earth palette. I don't know why the Down to Earth palette is hard for me to say. I have to check it every time I've said it during this video. Um, I just did an everyday look. This is it. Um, I like this palette. These are the colors. If you want to see me uh, do this look, stick around. It uh, should be a short video. You know I'm long-winded, so I can't promise. It's a rainy day, so I've had to play with my lighting. You'll see it change throughout the video. I apologize for that. And, um, yeah. So, uh, we'll see each other in a minute. Okay, guys, let's look at this Ruby May palette. It is the Down to Earth palette. Um, I have looked at these a little bit, played in the purples. Uh, that This one in particular, uh, since it was deep, I mean, it's not patchy. Um, the uh, Another thing I've noticed is you do not want to wet your brush with the... Um, with these shimmers, uh, particularly this one, it tends to make the um, pigment go away. So I suggest just using your finger. But um, anyway, I thought we would um, play in this palette together. So um, um, I think it's a pretty good palette. And um, let's get started. I'm still struggling getting my videos up, and I apologize, guys. I really do. Um, it's just so, sometimes, you know, sometimes life is just a struggle, and that's just with everybody. So um, that's just how it is, and um, I apologize for it. Okay. I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm actually going to start in my crease and flick it up onto the brow bone this time. Um, you just want to make sure that your color is on your brow bone, otherwise it don't show. Just feather it up. You don't want it to be a harsh line, but can you see? You can actually just barely see it. I'm probably going to have to tap back in. I started off with a light hand because you can always go back. It is hard to lighten. I like this little brush. You see how it's got an angled it is perfect to actually do that, start in the crease and flick it up. Got these brushes from BH Cosmetics. I like them. I haven't found a one I don't like yet. This palette has a little bit of kick up. but not so much that it's uh, um, that you wouldn't like it.
keep playing with my lights. I want you to be able to see. This is just a soft, everyday look with the Ruby May down to earth palette. I thought that was a good, it was a good look for the name of the palette. Of course, I've got to get my, uh, you know what I didn't do? My goodness, what is wrong with me? I did not do my bottom lashes, my bottom lash line. Hang on just one second. Of course, let me just step off my, mix up all my brushes now. I think what I'm going to do since, um, I, I use three colors. I use this one, this one, and this one. Um, I'm going to mix these two and drag it down. And I look, the sun. The sun has changed, so I'm trying to change this to meet it, and um, so you are going to see where I played with the lighting, and so I apologize about that. Um, that's one thing about working with natural lighting. We're going to go back in and do... Um, I didn't do my black line because, um, well, I just didn't do it this time. Forgot. We'll take care of that and go back in with the white line. I like to do that. My eyes look so, my eyes are so small. I don't look what they are. You go in with the vintage eyeliner. It's black. It's something we got in Boxy Charm. Um, when I first seen it, I was like, uh, no way. But it actually is very good. And then under here. Okay, I'm going to come back with my eyebrows done, and I'll, just a few minutes, be right back. Okay, so I forgot to say that the check-in time for the eyeshadow was going to be um, three, so we'll basically say um, four o'clock. And um, it looks like this eye has more makeup on it, but if we turn, my, turn this light off it said it was constant trying to keep up with the lighting over there see they're both they're both the same um this is my eye that's more uh saggy uh, you know it's my small eye so it's a struggle to make them look like but that's about as good as it gets right there so anyway we're going to call the chicken time it, so i'll probably wear it about six hours maybe you know, I might make it till 12. <laughs> so we'll see how it holds up. And um, anyway, I'm not finished um, doing the rest of my makeup, but I will come back in just a few seconds. Okay, guys. It is somewhere around 11 o'clock. So, it is 11.13, take off my glasses, so my eyes are tired, and you'll see this is the left eye, and this is what it looks like when it's tired, so this is the eyeshadow, I think it's lasted 
from four o'clock to day till then, that's seven hours. That's a good day and a good night. Same. Okay, so I am back and I'm right up on y'all, but um, I wanted you to see the eyes. Um, it looks lighter. Let me, I am struggling. It is, uh, this has got a lot behind me now, but I, let's see, Do maybe there. Um, does this, it look, the eyeshadow is so dark. And I turn on my lighting and it's like you can't see it. But like I said, it's an everyday look. Um, did, I, did I show you the colors I used? I don't remember. We'll do it again. I used this color, this color, and then I highlighted. So I used this color, this color, and I highlighted in this color. Um, so there we go. I finished up the rest of my makeup. Um, I, I like this. I like this little palette. Um, there's another one too uh, that I was sent um, that we'll play with another time. But um, if there is other things that you would like to see, if you have hooded eyes and you have questions um, or a look you would like for me to try, um, I'm open to it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel right down there. Um, and you know, to subscribe, all you need is your email address. And then they'll try to say you um, read to, but you just hit no thanks on that. And um, so, you know, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, they'll send you an email when I upload and um, so I'm uploading a little sporadic right now, and um, I apologize for that, but life happens, and, you know, uh, we do the best we can. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and comment down below. Those three things help me out on YouTube. It tells YouTube that I'm engaged with my subscribers and it will help me inch up in their ratings um it helps me to be seen more so if y'all could just do that um for me i mean it don't earn me any money i mean you know i just do this for i actually just do this as a hobby but i would like to be seen more um so that I, my channel can grow um, I don't ever expect to earn any money from it, but, you know, I would like to be seen. So, if y'all could just do that for me, I sure would appreciate it. And, uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.